it's a new video of Blue Slab. This time we're going to learn how to animate with Wick. Now Wick is an awesome animation frame by frame software. So there are tons of these tools. Let's see what the brush can do. And the pencil can do this, which is much thinner. The eraser, you know, just erases. But just in case, I'm going to make this size much bigger. Like this big. And there's the rectangle tool. So today we're going to try some doing, you know, just a regular frame by frame and animation. So I think the topic should be something connected to squash and stretch. So first, let's add us an eclipse. Add another, and then add another frame. Now we're getting somewhere. Now, if you ever heard of the squash and s and stretch of one of the One of the ways of animating, it's a great thing to add when you're animating something, let's say, forward. It's super great for that. And you're like, why, of course? Because, I mean, imagine a bowling ball f falling to the ground. Um, yeah. It doesn't break or move around right but the animation is basically like that and then I'm going, going, now it's better. Um, I've never tried doing it like this. So I don't know what would happen, but I hope it's something great. Now, but one mistake that most people make when they're first animating is, well, about squatch and stretch is is kind of the lag that I put in my animation, which I can't really put in pivot because there is basically no squatch and stretch. Anyways, so thing is. As in squash, squash and stretch, um, as it gets wider, it also needs to get near. If it gets longer, then it also needs to get narrower. You know, you know what I mean, right? If it, you know. Anyways, so um. No. So, if you've ever tried animating, you should know that, really. If you've ever tried animating, this is my first time, so it's obvious that I shouldn't know that. I mean, I just watched a YouTube video to know that, okay? Because I found an awesome YouTube video that you should definitely see, which explains perfectly how Squatch and Stretch work. I was going to explain it, but that video did it much well than what I could do. Anyways, so, it's basically like, imagine a water balloon. That's basically unbreakable. And then you dropped it into the ground. It gets taller, but it also gets narrower, right? It's the same thing. 
It was now. So if it if it gets wider it also gets shorter. It's like that. It's basically how, you know, the squash and squash and stretch works. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, like and subscribe. Bye!